Hey guys, this is Callum from English Eating and I'm here on the CZ stand. I'm on the stand because I've actually managed to find a CZ that is going to come factory UK legal. Not in all of its options though, we will be slightly limited. So we have a 22LR semi-auto Scorpion. We've got a 16 inch barrel and despite the fact that it folds, it is over the 24 inches. Out of the factory, we would be able to have this. Now, CZ don't know exactly who bring the guns in, or they're not able to say here, but we'll be able to find later on on the website where you'll be able to get these in the UK. But there is absolutely no reason that these shouldn't be available. And it's very exciting to see a brand like CZ making something for us, us Brits. Looking at the gun in terms of other facts and figures, it's mostly ambidextrous. So we've got uh, an ambidextrous safety. So you lefties out there are taken care of got ambidextrous magazine release. With the magazine, they currently only have a 10 round, but they are working on larger capacity, which will be nice to see. And you've got the charging handle here on the side. You can sort of do an H a HK flick if you really wanted. Of course, we've got an empty magazine there, so it's locked back. We've got the bolt release there on the left-hand side. So CZ, a brand that we all no, the Scorpion, probably a gun that we've all looked at pictures online. So to see it in the 2.2 semi-auto in a UK legal spec is absolutely fantastic. The muzzle is going to be threaded in half inch UNEF. So any standard AR-15 muzzle brake is going to be able to fit on there. Are we going to see this being run in mini rifle competitions? Now, I was a big advocate of the likes of the Strybog Tyrannus from Grand Power. I think there was potentially something there. I've not been brave enough to go into competition myself with one. Of course, I use the battle arms. But I know people do like to try different and interesting things within UK mini rifle competitions or even international mini rifle competitions. We did see in Wales, I think somebody using one of the Umarex Uzis, which was an interesting choice. I don't know how they actually fared with that. But Again, a gun from a manufacturer such as CZ, we know it's going to be high quality. We know it's going to be reliable. This isn't a clone being made by somebody else. This is a, a gun that's being made from CZ in the CZ factory. So it's going to come with all the QC and reliability that we would expect. Uh, other things, literally just picked up this gun. We're walking past and, well, of course, it caught my interest. We've got M-Lock rails there right at the front for any uh, accessories. You can see a number of different sling mounts, although for competition I don't know necessarily why I'd want some sling mounts. Whilst it might be fitted with an optic, it's going to come with these iron sights there. If you're going to run it in standard, you're probably going to switch these out, but if you're going to run it in an open, it might be good as some sort of backup. Uh, overall, the construction of the gun is pretty much completely polymer. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be any adapters necessarily if you want to put something else on the stock, but the grip is all one piece. There is, it looks like the position, the probability of removing that, but in terms of buying like an AR-15 drop-on, I don't think that's necessarily going to be an option. Uh, at the very least, we all, whilst I come at things from a competition perspective, this is going to be an awesome fun gun to have. We look at the likes of the Chris Vector as just something you know that we aspire to, something that we can't own the full big brother of. So having a 2.2 semi-auto is something that is, is nice to see, to have in the cabinet to go out there and shoot, that's a little bit different. So even if this isn't going to stand up in competition, it's going to be a great addition to the UK market if we see it land, which I really can't see any reason why it wouldn't. So this is a bit of a more you know moment. So actually after doing the first bit of the video, uh, we got ch chatting to a CZ representative um, and he showed us their configurator. Now, a couple of things to note on this is, this is for the nine mil, so ignore the price. We won't have this available in the UK. But what he was saying is that actually a lot of the components of the nine mil version are, com are directly transferable to the 2.2 LR. And actually the main base of the gun is exactly the same. It's more just internal modifications that makes it the uh, 2.2 LR. Things like the hammer are exactly the, the same on it. Um, so as well as the base gun that we were seeing a moment ago, 
There's a number of upgrades available for this gun that will come direct from the factory. So if you're able to order it on CZ's website, you can actually use this configurator, but we can just go through and have a quick look at some of the options that are uh, available. So I'll go right up to the top. Um, unfortunately, the fake suppressor version won't be available for 2.2. That is just a, a 9mm uh, version, but we've got the, the charging handle. So the charging handle is ambidextrous. You can have it on either side. So we have the standard charging handle on there at the moment, but then you can upgrade it and have different, so this is the Dural, Dural, Min, Dural Alamin uh, material. Uh, so you can have it in the standard black if you want the stealthy look, but you've got the red and the blue. Personally, I like the red. It's always nice to have your controls in different colors just so they stand out so that you can get onto them uh, quicker. Different things of the, the sling swivel. So you don't necessarily have to have a sling attachment. You can have a little, little cover and you can have that again, black, red, blue, and then you can have little logos. Personally, probably go for the CZ logo on there. Uh, other options again for different sling swivels, from obviously both sides, again, a lot of this gun is, is ambidextrous. The trigger is actually, we can get a closer, closer look, a sneak peek of something else that you're able to configure. But the trigger, you can have their standard trigger, which looks very sort of mil spec, but their drawer element trigger as well, again, in black, red, or in the blue. Again, I think the red, keep that one there. Got different safeties. Let's, uh, so you can have a, a short safety, an extended, I always like extended. Again, different colors. You've got the blue. Why has the trigger changed? I wanted it red. There we go. So it's amazing that all of these options are gonna come directly from CZ. These aren't aftermarket effectively, they are from CZ themselves and you can have your gun Again, depending, I don't know if this option is going to be available in the UK, but certainly if you're in the Czech Republic, you could order directly from CZ and configure it from, from factory. Again, you've got the right fire mode lever, again, completely ambidextrous with that. Uh, even the magazine itself. So at the moment, we've got the standard mag base. Let's put their, their funky material. Again, you've got that, got that in red. You can have either a standard polymer uh, butt pad or you can have the uh, buffer butt plate which has a, a sort of a rubber texture. Not that I think you're going to need to be dealing with a lot of recoil with uh, the 2.2 uh, LR and that's the magazine cat. So again if we zoom in all different types. So you've got standard magazine catch that's what you would have seen on the previous gun. You've got enlarged, you've got extended uh, and you've got this sport Again, all in the black, red, and blue. There's loads of options. It's like the more I see about this, the more I learn, the more excited I get about it. Big shout out to CZ for I don't know if they knowingly accommodated the UK market, but they uh, they have. Of course, it maybe would be nice. I do like my my short and nimble guns. It would be lovely to see this in the UK, but of course, this isn't going to conform neither to the overall length or the barrel length. But it it, it is cool nonetheless. So there we go. Are we going to see this in a UK gun store near you sometime soon? I very much hope so, and I really can't see any reason why you would not. So if you want to learn anything more about this, then use the comments section below. I'll try and find out any information that you want to know about it. If you've enjoyed this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing for any future videos. And of course, as always, guys, hope to see you soon.